today we're going to be making slow cooker steak fajitas. So, if you watched my last video, you know that I just learned my Instant Pot is also a slow cooker. So, I don't have a crock pot at the time, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try something in this and just see how it does. And then that will determine whether I want to slow cook in this or just buy a crock pot. So, that's what we're going to be doing. I have just a very simple steak fajita recipe. So, I have just a pound of steak chips. So, that is gonna be our first ingredient. We're just gonna dump that in there. Okay, and that's just some steak tips from Trader Joe's. And I cut the recipe in about half. Well, I did cut it in half. It called for two pounds, and I'm just doing a pound because we are not gonna be at this campsite much longer and I didn't want to deal with a ton of leftovers. So, all right, next, I made my own fajita seasoning because I didn't have any fajita seasoning, so I just used what I had, which was garlic powder, salt and pepper, uh, ground cumin, and chili powder. So I just kind of whipped that together because that's what I had and I needed to go ahead and get this cooking. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that just all in there. Good. I love spices. All right, next we're gonna add a pepper. So just one bell pepper. I happen to have these sweet red peppers. So that is what I'm gonna use. I am just like all about using what you have. There are so many ways you can improvise in recipes. You don't always have to do exactly what the recipe says. Some people think you do, I don't think you do. So, I am using what I have in my kitchen. video about the slow about the instant pot chicken tortilla soup a lot of these ingredients I bought for that soup and so I already have all this stuff so I need to cook it um, we're a fan of Mexican dishes so it doesn't bother me to eat <laughs> kind of the same thing um, all week long like I said you have all the stuff you need to use it we're just all about not wasting food um, and that's really easy to do when you live in a camper because, especially when it's just the two of you, food waste is easily done. And so we want to do all we can not to waste anything. And that is all. So we are gonna put this on slow cook for about four hours. I'll check it randomly and see how it's doing. Um, and we'll just go from there. We'll see what happens in four hours. Okay, y'all, it actually turned out really well. The slow cooker is a win. And the multi-cooker, Fagor. So, I am very happy how it turned out. And it only took, um, it only took three hours to cook on low. That's pretty good. And it looks delicious. 
Seriously, y'all, looks so good. The meat pieces are a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna have to cut those up some. But all in all, it turned out great. So, slow cooker, and the multi-cooker. <laughs>